So, something different and new. I found a game. I was just scrolling through Steam and a certain game caught my attention. And I'm like, what is this game? And let's find out what it's going to be about. And I'm, in this point, you already saw it, so give it a sec. Yeah, find love or die trying. Have no idea. It, it just caught me. It's a visual novel. This should be fun. I don't know if it's going to be a full thing, if I'm going to play it through co to completion or what. I just want to see what this is about. Let's get into this. I, I, I literally don't know what I'm getting myself into. Whoa. Uh-oh. Time for the old voice acting thing. <clears throat> Okay, uh, time for cringy voice. Hey! Don't just lie there! Get up! Uh, just five more minutes. <laughs> You're the star of the show. You can't just sleep through it. Watch me. God, that hurts my throat. Oh, that's how you want to play? That was not me, that was actual in-game. Oh! Hello! Rise and shine, sleepyhead. Bro, this theme kind of hitting. Yeah, I'm just gonna turn it down just a little bit. So. Ow, ow, ow! Did you just hit me? Nah, I just got here. I just chased off the person who hit you. <laughs> really, you should be thanking me. Oh my gosh. Pretty sure it was you. Yeah, we know it was her. We, we, yeah, like, who else is gonna be? No, I'm pretty sure that was you. What's with that look on your... Ah! Ah, damn it. Now we're back to where we started. <laughs> Time loop? Rise and shine, sleepyhead. I'm getting real sick and tired of you knocking me out. Did you just hit me? Wait, didn't this didn't this just happen? Of course not. There's no way I hit you twice. I call cap on that. Oh, now we got a full shot of her. It's space bar for that. Cool. Anyway, what was your name again? Oh, my name is... I, I can't remember my name. Amnesia. Wait, what? I swear I didn't hit you that hard. Proof you hit me. Lies. So you did hit me. That's not important. Try to remember. If you can't remember anything, we're both going to be in big trouble. Why is that? We can talk about why later. What was your name? It's, oh lord. <sighs> ah, I'm just gonna put in Jackson. Yeah. Submit. And my pronoun is... Very progressive. My name's Jackson. It's Jackson. I can't remember anything else though. Wow, I should try hitting my accountant sometime. Don't abuse your accountant. Do you remember where we are? 
and what you're doing here? For what I can tell, I'm on a private jet. No, I can't remember a thing. Everything's so foggy. Alright, I can give you the rundown. You're on a reality TV show called Find Love or Die Trying. Though, we just call it Find Love for the uninformed. I'm the producer. The name's Cat. The premise is that you, the suitor, are living with five beautiful women and one of them is your soulmate. Ah, oh, so like Bachelor, Bachelorette. I haven't met them yet. How would you know one of them is my soulmate? That's a very good question. That's just how it is. Welcome to reality TV. Can you be my re can you be my can you be my wife? Can you be my soulmate? Like I'm loving the purple. Loving the purple. You'll get to know two of the girls two of the girls over the next six days. Over three dates with each of them. I can't math. Then on the seventh day, you'll have to ask one of them to marry you at the final ceremony. So it's literally The Bachelor. That seems straightforward enough for me. Not so fast, partner. The girl you will choose will be given a choice whether or not they accept your proposal. Oh, so I can just be shut down. So all this could be a waste of time. If she says yes, you two will fade off into the sunset in a gold-plated yacht on the last day. Can I sell the yacht? Because I'm broke. Happily ever ever forever, except without the yacht, is a loner. Dang it! She knew. If she says no. Well, we're gonna have... Wait, what? Killed? You're joking, right? <laughs> Please tell me you're joking. I... Mm, yeah, this does not look like the face of someone who's joking. Now that's the reaction that I wanted to see. <clears throat> really? You look like I just took a shit in your cereal. That's actually gross. What's going on? Who are you? Oh, where are my manners? The name's Damien. Damien Black. I'm the CEO of Royal Black Media, the biggest network for battle royale games on the planet. Uh, so are you the person behind Epic Games Fortnite? I have some words for you. Battle royale games? Like computer games? You've been living under a... You've been living under a rock stink ass armpit? What kind of insult is that? Stink ass armpit? What? Real people killing each other is in this season. What? Well, what's in the season? I swear I put in hard and honest work into making top of the line killing shows. And what do I get for it? So, we're trying. Eh, words. I can't speak. English are hard. So we're trying a new kind of killing game. Spicing a little romance on top for the people who fart dreams and bake out. Bake cakes out of rainbows. Dang. That's where you come in. Hey, is that a bad deal? You might find love or die. Whatever. Huh. Just put on a good show for me, mm hmm? Oh! Just, how many people, Bruh. Can you get away from me? Like, get away from me. Like, I don't know you. I'ma just stop. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Black. What is it, Juan? We're missing one of the aerial cameras for the backfields. Well, that's my cue. The intern ain't gonna shoot himself. Oh, this guy is absolutely lunatic. It's a lunatic. Give him hell, Kit Kat. Oh my gosh. Don't so You don't need to tell me twice. L look, I don't know what's going on here, but I'm getting out of here. For starters, I can barely remember my own name let alone if I already have a partner. If that's what you're worried about, you didn't. And not for a lack of trying. 
How would you know that? Cat sighed. Look, you don't have a choice. Damien will kill you if you try to escape, or if you tell of tell any of the girls about the truth behind the show. The girls don't know? They have no idea that your life is in danger. They just think it's a regular dating show about finding your soulmate called Find Love. If you tell any of them the truth, you won't get you won't get killed. You won't just get yourself killed. You'll get them killed as well. Oh, thanks for the ultimatum. Thank you for really making this terrifying. How could you? I don't make the rules, Jackson. I'm sorry. Really? You're a pretty serious person, Jackson. Jeez, when my life is in danger, along with the fact that I have to literally hope that I can romance the girls into saying yes to my proposal, if not, I die. Why wouldn't I be? Like, seriously. Most people would be a little bit happier to hear that they're all alone in paradise with five beautiful women. It'd be better without the death part, cat. What's there to worry about? Oh, you know, the whole getting executed thing if the girl I asked says no, the little bit with not remembering who the hell I am. Yeah. Yeah, that's, thank you for having common sense, my guy. That's something that some of these games don't have. How about this? I need my show to be successful and run according to plan. And you want your memories back, and presumably to leave the show alive. Uh-oh, you about to give me some inside information? That depends on what the memories are, but yes. If you'll be a good suitor for my show, I'll help you get your memories back. It's really not a bad deal. Most people will kill for a chance like this. Yeah, because most people don't lose their memories while going to a death sentence. Seriously, all you have to do is get to know five lovely women and ask out one. I'll be with you every step of the way, off camera. Before you know it, I'm sure you'll be having lots of fun. Why am I getting... You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of Honey Pop. Except death. Except for death. That's the only downside to this. Who knows? You may even fall in love. You wouldn't be the first. But if you survive the whole show, I promise I'll tell you everything you want to know. Pinky promise. How does that sound? I'm in no position to deny. I'm in no p position to say no. Let's be honest here. So sounds like a deal. Hold up. Bro, this music kind of hitting. All right, let's get to the actual game. That's the spirit, sugar. Who knows, you might be thanking me for this one day. We'll see about that. Trust me, I'll make sure this show will be the best time of your life. It will be so great that everything after will feel like a disappointment. That's a depressing way to look at it. What if I, what if I ended up with one of the girls after the show? Anyway, without further ado, let's get started with the show. Follow me, I'll take you where you'll meet your lovely contestants. Cat grabbed me by the hand and pulled me along. Yeah. Remember, you can't tell anyone about the truth about our dating, dating game. No matter what, just smile, got it? Got it. We stepped out, we stepped out of the bar together. I didn't realize it at first. But it was a bar inside of a small airplane. Why did it take me so long to figure out we're in an airplane? The windows and the clouds and the small interior didn't give it away beforehand. Our guy is kind of stupid, but he does have amnesia, so I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. I guess I must have been flown here. We walked until we saw a mansion in the distance. I, well, there is no distance. There's just black screen. I guess they didn't have enough budget for that. Oh. 
right, we'll shut up. It is like The Bachelor. Wow, it's huge! Phrase aim. I can't imagine how expensive this place is. I guess $4.5 million. You'd be surprised. Since we're all the way, since we're all the way in some forgotten corner of New Asia, the land comes pretty cheap. New Asia. <laughs> yeah. Have you never, have you never read the news in the past decade? Memory loss, remember? Right. Mother. Well, I'm sure, well, I sure hope you haven't forgot how to talk to girls. Five, four, three, two, one. Wait, what? We're starting already? Not quite. To give the world top tier entertainment. Enjoyment. To protect our ass from unemployment. To make the world believe in fate and love. We work like slaves for the shills above. We're the Brothers Five. Was this supposed to be a ripoff of the team, uh, the team Rocket a thing from Pokemon? That's all I got from this. One, two, three, four, five. Prepare to get the set ready. I want to start filming yesterday. Oh, I guess we're not important enough to finish our intros. <laughs> You're all faceless. This ain't about you, this is about me. I'm the main protagonist here. Whose idea was it to work in the TV, TV industry anyway? This wouldn't have happened if you just decided to be accountants. Wait by the mansion doors and thank me later. It's showtime, people. Let's get to work. I walk to the doors. Hey, Jackson, can you hear me? I think I'm gonna just leave it off on that part. I'm gonna say right now, this is gonna be interesting. This is already off to a pretty weird and intriguing start. It's caught my attention, and hopefully it did yours as well. If you enjoyed this, make sure to leave a like, comment down below what you thought about it. Hopefully, if this does well, I can actually have this as a full series, but I'll just probably do like the first hour and a half or whatever, and kind of just break it up. If you guys want it, I will deliver. As usual, it's your boy NPC Jackson signing out, and I will see you on the next one. Peace. If I can find the end button.